Well, it feels very good. Uh, we are very excited. We're very happy. Uh, we celebrated last uh, Sunday, and now we are uh, really looking forward to these big games next Saturday. So we're very excited. We're working very hard for that. Uh, what was it like to experience the atmosphere at BC Place last Sunday in front of the 25,000 there uh, and celebrate with the fans after the game? It was amazing. It was fantastic. And, uh, you know, the fans has been a critical part, uh, an integral part of our playoff push. So it was so beautiful to see the full stadium and to celebrate with them till at the end of the at the end of the game it was really really beautiful. Uh, and obviously, it's been a big turnaround, as you said. The team was last in the Western Conference in August, and now he's in a playoff spot. Uh, from your point of view, what's been the mood? What's the mood been like in the locker room the past couple of months? You've seen the guys turn around. Well, everyone was very, I would say, focused on the tasks. Yes, uh, the turnaround, uh, we never thought about this uh, two months turnaround. Or we, we always thought about game by game by game by game. And I think that uh, must be the way that we approach even the playoff. We know that it can be one game, but maybe it can be two games, three games, and even four games. So uh, the, the way that we achieve results is because we were focused on the next game like it's the most important game ever and then we have to continue doing like this. Uh, you talk about looking at game by game, the next game against Kansas City, uh, the team's played them twice this season. First meeting didn't go so well down in Kansas, second meeting was a win at BC Place. What can the team take from both of those games heading into next week's clash? And yeah, we, we need to take from the game that we can't leave the initiative to them. If we if we go them uh, scared, if we go them trying to defend in our half and uh, to see what happen, uh, uh, it's going to be a problem. We need to be like we did in VC Place, pressing them very high, uh, being aggressive and uh, being of course very very well organized. That's it's our I would say strength. But uh, I would say the fact that the the attitude of uh, trying to be on the front foot and to be more in their half than in our half will be the key. Possibly Alan Polito as well. What do those guys bring up top uh, for them? A lot. Uh, they're very good. So you, you mentioned three of the best strikers of the of, of the Western Conference, and uh, so for that reason we need to be aggressive because we the, the 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 best way to limit those players it make the ball not arriving to those players. So we need to be as much as we can in their half because uh, if. These guys, they're going to be served uh, sooner or later. They're going to create something. We saw with uh, with Russell last game. So it's uh, uh, we need we need to be again aggressive, aggressive, aggressive to limit the service to them. And uh, last one for me: uh, How have you guys approached training the past couple of days? You guys had some days off. Uh, how's the week been like? Getting yeah, days off and now it was very good. Uh, you know, the, yesterday we start again. I, I imagine, okay, after three days, maybe they're going to be some, I don't know, little sloppiness you know kind of the first day no and but no but yes it was uh, all business from the first day and uh, we did a very good tactical job today tomorrow's gonna be a very good session then we're gonna have another day off and uh, next week we'll uh, we'll prepare the 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 game as best as we can the atmosphere training is very good everyone wants to be involved everyone everyone uh, wants to give their best so yeah I think uh, there's all the condition to do a good job